What's going on, everybody? Slice out from MaddenDaily.com, and let's talk about the new Madden 16 game mode called Draft Champion. EA Sports at E3 released some new Madden 16 information. Starting with this game mode, which is Draft Champions, it is designed for the fantasy football avid users that play on DraftKings, FanDuel, Yahoo Sports. Well, this is a daily mode where you will join the mode and every time you play you're gonna have a different team so how exactly does this work well when you enter the mode you are going to get assigned a team now this team isn't gonna be that good but you are gonna have a player at each position now you need to upgrade the team how you're gonna upgrade the team is through this draft first thing you're gonna do is pick a coach you're gonna have three options to pick from it's always gonna be different every time you play this mode and say you pick the 49ers coach you are going to be using their playbooks in the game, 49ers on offense, 49ers on defense, and also their team style. You see, the 49ers coach is focused on zone defense and ground and pound. What I'm assuming is that based on the coach that you pick, it's going to have a heavy influence on the draft players that you're able to pick. And I'm going to explain the draft in a few seconds. In this draft, there are going to be 15 rounds. Each round, you're going to have a choice of three players that you could pick. What's cool is that it's not just current players that you're going to be able to pick. Sometimes they're going to give you an option to pick a legendary player. In each round, you're going to have an option to pick one of the three players that they give you. Here you see first round, we had the choice of picking Orlando Pace, Andre Reed, or Emmett Smith. If you're someone that passes more than running, you might take Reed. But if you run the ball a lot, you're going to take Emmett Smith with the first pick. And if you do take him that early in the draft, you're probably not going to pick a running back in the later rounds, even if you see another good running back. So you want to do it based on your scheme, based on the coach that you pick, and based on your favorite players. If you see your favorite player out there, here you see Jamal Charles, Johnson, and Watt. We picked them at Smith. We're not going to pick Charles. We're going to go with either Johnson or Watt. Again, it would determine on your personal fantasy preference and the players that you picked previously. Now, each round, the players don't get better. It's all random. So round one, you might get a chance to get Emmett Smith, but round two, it might be a choice of all 80 overall players. All three of them are going to be pretty equal value. You see here Cunningham, Brooks, and Randall. They all have similar overalls. It's just different positions. So based on the team that you're picking, you have to pick one of the three players each round to best fit your team and fantasy needs. And you can't fill up every position. You only have 15 rounds. So that's 15 new players to your team. And here in the example, he wound up having an 82 overall team. But an 88 overall on offense, he picked mainly offensive players. So you, the team is going to be pretty good no matter when you draft, but you're not going to have that overpowered team. Then once you draft the team, you're going to either play the computer or online. When you play the computer, you're going to have to beat them three times. When you play online, you have to win four times in a row. If you lose, you have to start over. If you win, you are considered a draft champion. So they made it to where it's something you can complete in one day. So you have to win the four games in one day in order to win. And then once you start the mode again, you're going to have a brand new team. The unfortunate thing about this mode, I was so excited to hear this mode. And then on Twitter, EA Sports said that you cannot play against your friend. There's no versus mode. You have to just, when you play online, they're going to automatically bring you into a game against someone else that's playing the mode at the current time. So more than likely how it's going to work is if you're in game number one, you're probably going to get matched up with someone else that's in game number one at the time. Once you win that, you move on to game two. You're probably going to play someone that's at the time searching for a game that's in game two. All the way to game four, which more than likely if someone else is searching for a game that is in game four, you're going to be matched up with them. So it will increase in skill after each game because if someone's at level four, that means they won three in a row. That means they're pretty good you're going to play someone probably much better for the game four to win it all than you would at the game one. So you can't play against a friend online unless you match up with them. So what I see people doing is say we do a YouTube collaboration and we're playing this mode against someone else. The easiest way to get in a game with them is to get to level four, which there's probably going to be much less people at the level four stage than at level one. So both people get to level four and then you search at the same exact time and just hope you get matched up together. We will heavily be doing a lot of videos on YouTube with this mode, and so will all of your favorite YouTube commentators that play Madden. Um, definitely, it's new, it's fresh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's also gonna be a really good mode to live stream because the guys in the chat will be able to help draft the team and say, 
hmm, you should pick this player out of the three. That way you have this position covered or whatever. The fans and viewers could help out with the draft process. And then just the YouTube uh, videos that we pre-record and post, you guys can post in the comments how you thought how we did on the draft or what we should have done or what players we should have picked. Definitely going to be a great YouTube mode for sure. I'm trying to think if I didn't cover anything with this mode. Um, so it's a solo draft. You're not going to be doing the draft with anyone else. After round one, when you make the pick, automatically you're going to get brought to round two. So it's going to be really quick. It's just 15 quick modes. You'll draft your favorite fantasy team out of the options you get and bring it onto the gridiron to play either the computer or online opponents. I really did wish you could play your friends in this, but unfortunately that's not an option. You're going to be randomly picked against online opponents that are playing. You just got to hope you get matched up with your friend. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this mode. Are you going to be playing in it? Is it going to be your favorite mode, you think? Your least favorite? Just let us know your opinion on this game mode in the comments below. We're going to be back with some new Madden 16 gameplay changes. Tomorrow we're going to post that video plus reactions on the trailer. If you're new to Madden Daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're one of the best Madden channels out. At least I think so. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, it's Lights Later.